nice day. Thank you. 
In order to reward you and Su Shang for your long hours of work, the Merchant Guild has ordered some gourmet snacks from Tall Auntie, so you can rest for a bit and prepare for the revival of Arum Alley. Regardless of the eyepieces, there are more urgent issues that need to be taken care of first. My secretary asked me to prepare some refreshments for you earlier. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll bring them out shortly. Just in time. Everyone is asking this IPC goon for an explanation. Calling someone an IPC goon isn't very becoming of a cloud night now, is it? 
I'm not here today as a representative of the IPC. I'm just a tourist. You could just call me Scott. You see, this gentleman understands etiquette. <laughs> Can't a man come here to deliver a package without being surrounded? There's something wrong with the stuff this guy is shipping. It's causing damage to other people's goods, and our dock here is liable for the compensation. Ah, uh, speak louder. Uh, I can't quite hear you. Is this how you treat guests in our room, Alley? Let's open that package right here, right now. Then we'll see what he's hiding. I'd be careful if I were you. If you damage my goods, you'll have to pay for them. Huh? A serious issue? I think you'll be the ones with a serious issue. No need to make this difficult. Let's open it. Let's check and see if there's anything suspicious. right here, right now. Then we'll see what he's hiding. I'd be careful if I were you. If you damage my goods, you'll have to pay for them. There's no time to lose. Here, there's thunder! with this ingenium so that it caused damage to other goods on the freight skiff. Uh, speak louder. I can't quite hear you. Conclusive evidence? Deny? Here, look carefully. This old piece of junk doesn't even belong to me. What? If you don't believe me, just ask the dock workers. Uh, if I may, he's telling the truth. This golden cloud toad does not belong to Mr. Scott. Then why was the toad here in the first place? Uh. That's your problem, not mine. Now, let me ask you a question. My vase was almost smashed to pieces. What do you say about that? Huh? Did I hear that right? After making a big scene like that, don't you owe me an apology? I... I guess we do. Well, are you going to apologize or not? Sorry, sir. For this kind of barbarity, a single apology won't ever be enough. Just think of this as a practice round for later. <laughs> If it were you, you wouldn't have fallen for his trap. Sorry, I should have stepped in. My mother always told me that as long as I honed my skills, I'd be able to deal with any situation. 
seems I've still got honing to do. Before the payment due date arrives, I'm going to teach you two how to fight. With words. Follow me. We're going to see the president. Miss Secretary said that you want to learn how to get the upper hand in an argument. Is that right? I'm no secretary. More of a messenger. The President is aware of recent events and is willing to pass on some simple negotiation skills to you. Rule 1. Prepare your ace card in advance. Just as Cloud Knights ready their weapons before entering battle, you should have your ace card ready before you walk up to the negotiating table. I will present you with a few items, and you need to examine them carefully. This is the box that was opened earlier at the dock, the one containing the Golden Cloud Toad. The name and contact information of the sender were deliberately crossed out but records from the Heron Express show that the sender is Ah Fung. The records show that a dock worker named Ah Fung recently received credit remitted by the IPC, spaced out over several installments. The president has their ways. Rule two. Play your ace card at the right time. These documents can only be truly effective when your opponent reveals a weak spot. How about this? I've prepared a little practice exercise for you. Mr. Afeng, over here, please. What exactly does the president have up their sleeve? Uh, I don't know anything. I don't have anything to say. I was the one who brought out the box containing the golden cloud toad. Um, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I conspire with the IPC? Um, my name's Afeng. I was the one who brought out the box containing the Golden Cloud Toad. I didn't see any boxes. Only the Golden Cloud Toad. Um, if goods need to be inspected, we remove the packaging ahead of time. You wouldn't want to do all that work yourself, would you? Um, my name's Afeng. Um, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence. Why do you emphasize that this matter has nothing to do with you? I just want to avoid any misunderstanding, in case anyone has it in their head that I intentionally misplaced an item. I sense a hole in his logic. Um, I was told to move some. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I? Does being a dock worker mean that person can't conspire with the IPC? Everyone knows the IPC wants to use the dock debt to discredit the Merchant Guild. The Merchant Guild are the ones who gave me a job, not the IPC. Why would I side with them? I sense a hole in his logic. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I conspire with the IPC? Um, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an Ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. I think this has a lot to do with you. Records from Heron Express show that this container was sent by a person named Afeng. What do you have to say about that? Uh, that, that must be some kind of mistake. All right, all right. 
Wait, enough already! The IPC was worried that the lease for the dock would be paid off, so they had me move some things around. Is that so terrible? Is letting the IPC take over management of RM Alley such a bad thing? Besides, what's it to you if I make some extra money? Mr. Afeng, our goal at the Merchant Guild is to help make Arum Alley a better place for everyone. Why would you work against that? Keep your heads in the sand if you like, but it's only a matter of time before Arum Alley becomes another warehouse for the IPC. That's right. You shouldn't be betraying your fellow workers for a quick profit. It seems that the truth has come out. Here is Mr. Afung's testimony. It may come in useful later. The payment for the dock is ready now. If you're ready for the next round of negotiations, come and see me at the dock. Right. That guy's gonna be sorry for everything he's done. Time we got a public apology. Representative has arrived, and I've called for Miss Sequay from the Skyfaring Commission to act as a notary. The IPC representative. Uh, remember, this is a war of words. Over to you. Before we start, let's review the documents we have. We reached the required amount by the repayment date. This is the basis for our right to continue negotiations, and is a testament to the business viability of Arum Alley. When the Arum Alley dock went up for public bid, the IPC won the bid using its interstellar trade resources and extensive capital. Then, the IPC leased the dock out to the Arum Alley Merchant Guild for management and operations. This contract can prove that the Merchant Guild has legitimate rights to operate the dock. The testimony of dock worker Ah Fung, who has admitted to disrupting the normal operations of the dock in exchange for payments from the IPC. Let's go. The notary from the Skyfaring Commission is already waiting for us. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I am here to preside over the leasing dispute between the IPC and the Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Is there anything left to dispute? I'll cut to the chase. The Merchant Guild should have removed itself from Arum Alley a long time ago. Couldn't the IPC choose a sane person to represent them? Huh? Now say that a little louder. I can't quite hear you. I said. IPC should send someone else! Goodness, there's no need to shout, Little Miss Feisty. My ears are ringing. Huh. You should be saving your voice for your public apology. <clears throat> As the representative of the IPC, my presence in this negotiation is legal, reasonable, and sensible. 
Who do you plan on sending to the battlefield? A random cloud knight? That cowardly president who's afraid to even show their face? Or how about that kid who got dragged into this fiasco at the last minute, walking around like he owes someone 50 credits? That's enough, Representative Scott. Please state the IPC side of the case. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to our room alley merchant guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. But the merchant guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Our Room Alley dock, which does not create any value at all, are clear evidence of poor management. Coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to op- Why couldn't the IPC operate the dock from the beginning? Oh, are you implying that the IPC was setting a trap for the Merchant Guild? You're saying the IPC leased the dock to the Merchant Guild, who mismanaged it, in order to destroy the Merchant Guild's credibility? That was definitely your plan all along. Ah, so you admit the Merchant Guild mismanaged the dock. <laughs> this guy! The IPC specially leased operation for the Merchant Guild. The Merchant Guild has never refused to work with any shops in our Mali. <sighs> never refused? Then let me ask you, how many shops are currently in your logistics network? There will be a lot more later. Later? How much later? For the Sienjo, does later mean 500 years? <laughs> Can the shop owners here wait that long? Uh, ten years! Uh, Twenty years! Psst. What should I say? Is twenty about right? But the Merchant Guild refused to quote the inefficient shipping and lo The dock has improved shipping efficiency, and transaction volume is increasing. Ah, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough, did you? The shopkeepers in our Alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all trying to turn a profit! The inefficient shipping and coupled with the Merchant Guild's in a- What makes you think we can't afford to pay the lease? If you have the necessary funds, prove it! Coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation! We've already paid back the lease. These are the funds from Arum Alley Merchant Guild. The guild has turned a profit and is able to pay back what it owes. What? You already paid back the lease? How? The documentation provided by Arum Alley Merchant Guild is true and credible. And according to the lease contract between the two parties, the Merchant Guild still holds the rights to operate the dock. Next order of business. The Merchant Guild has accused Representative Scott of secretly sabotaging dock operations. Do you have anything to say about that? Don't be so slanderous! Why would I stoop so low? What do the frequent accidents at this dock have to do with me? Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How could I possibly buy off a dock worker? The absurdity! Be so slanderous! How did you know about the frequent accidents at the dock? I use the shipping services too, you know. <laughs> Do you have any idea how often my packages are damaged in transit? Don't feign ignorance. Isn't that all by your own design? Don't be so slanderous! Besides, I'm not. Is it possible that you paid off a dock worker to do your bidding? Dr. Empty Rhetoric! Let's see some evidence! Do we have any proof? Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How could I possibly buy off a dock worker? The We have the testimony of Afon. 
This testimony is concrete proof that you instructed him to sabotage shipments. What? what? That little... Aren't the Sienjo people always preaching about righteousness? Oh, I gave him all that money, and he sold me out in a heartbeat! Darn it! If the evidence presented is true, Mr. Scott, then this constitutes improper business practices, and the Sky Faring Commission will conduct a follow-up investigation. How did this happen? How did the plan go awry? Don't forget about our bet. You have to apologize in front of everyone. What? Why should I apologize? Because you use dirty tricks to trample all over the honest work of others. An apology alone won't be enough to fix the damage. If it were, I'd make you do it a thousand times over. Consider yourself lucky it's just the once. <laughs> I hereby apologize to Haru Mali. to all the people of our own alley. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. Uh, is that really necessary? Make him bark! Make right. him bark! That's right! Uh, enough! Woof, 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 This arbitration is hereby resolved. Thanks to all of you, we managed to pull through the Doc's debt crisis. Worth every step. Oh, we should take advantage of the momentum to upgrade the Arum Alley Dock and increase its transaction volume. I'm preparing to upgrade inventory and logistics planning. The previously idle dock is now ready for use, so come see me when you have time. The Doc crisis is over for now. But the rejuvenation of Arum Alley has just begun. Thanks to your help, the lease was paid off and the dock capacity is increasing. I told the workers to clear out areas that weren't utilized and use them to store extra cargo. Now the dock can support collaboration with more businesses. Let's keep working together for the revival of our room alley. People are grumbling about Psy Cranes making our jobs obsolete. Who knows? By the time you swing by next time, I might have been replaced.
been an unexpected change in plans. I've received word that the President has ordered me to stop all upgrades to the dock immediately. There's no way he couldn't know. I'm also confused. Let's go have a word with him. I sent a message to Sushong, telling her to meet up at Oldie's Depot. Regardless of the IPC's wishes, different matters have different priorities. There are more urgent issues that need our attention right now. I also have something I wish to discuss with the Merchant Guild, but I'll wait for you to finish. The President fully appreciates your efforts and knows what you want to ask. He believes that continuing to upgrade the dock, a strategy that is not fundamentally different from that of the IPC, will only destroy the unique character of Arum Alley. Arum Alley is a place brimming with personality, from the delicious food to the cultural antiques. Everything is built around visiting tourists and local residents, and that's what makes it such a special place. Based on historical data, continued development of the shipping operations will turn the area into a giant warehouse. The more the shipping capacity is increased, the less attractions there will be for visitors. Such an outcome is unacceptable for the shopkeepers and community of Arum Alley. Ugh, the historical data isn't my forte. You better be telling the truth! Hmm... Very well. I believe it's my turn to speak. The Skyfaring Commission has received a joint request from several merchants concerning the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. Mr. President, the merchants would like you to resign as the president of the guild. There has come a day that the merchants of Aramali have betrayed me. I won't give up the vision I've built for Aramali, let alone step down from my duties. Is that the president speaking? It is not my intention to interfere with the merchant guild's affairs. But as an old friend, I would like to remind you that Aram Alley only exists in the present, not in the past. Madam Yukon, the present is always made from the past, is it not? I suggest that you make some concessions to appease the merchants. If you don't follow Ming Shi's plans for the dock, she will temporarily take over your position. Ming Shi. I would like to hear your thoughts. President, I hope you understand that I am in no way vying for power over Arum Alley. I have listened to the President's vision of prosperity since I was a child, and I want to work to achieve that vision. But currently, your ideas conflict with ours. I understand. I can accept Ming Shi temporarily taking over my duties. However, Ming Shi must make her decision public and with the approval of both myself and all the merchants. Since you have shown confidence, those terms should be acceptable to you. Yes. I'll do my best, President. You have to remember that even when you're acting in my place, a crisis is still imminent. You must earn at least the amount of the bidding deposit to even have a chance of thwarting off the IPC. Very well. Since the President has come to a decision, I will be in charge of calling a public meeting. Ming Shi, I have something for you. When you are all finished here, remember to come and see me. I 
wish the president did more of the talking. I'm getting tired of being a mouthpiece. Madam Yu Kong is looking for us. Let's be on our way. <sighs> this president is kind of stubborn. Is there really no difference between our strategy and the IPC's? I've heard that many places in the galaxy that partner with the IPC have become popular areas for interstellar trade. It makes sense that there are many merchants who oppose the Merchant Guild and support the IPC. The streets aren't owned by the Merchant Guild or the IPC, but by those who live here. I guess I don't have any special insights. I think... I think we should ask the merchants what they think. is kind of stubborn. Is there really no difference between our strategy and the IPC's? What kind of difference? You're saying that the IPC is in it for the IPC, but we just want what's best for Aramali. But the president wants what's best for Aramali too, and yet we still disagree with him. The streets aren't owned by the Merchant Guild or the IPC, but by those who live here. I, I guess I don't have any special insights. I think... I think we should ask the merchants what they think. <sighs> this president, there really no... What kind of difference? But shouldn't people choose the side that can earn the money? The streets aren't owned by the Merchant Guild or the IPC, but by those who live here. I, I guess I don't have any special in- I heard from Shi Kue that it was you who became a business advisor and assisted Arm Ali Merchant Guild in their dispute with the IPC. <laughs> How versatile. Is there anything you can't do? I'm not very good at that, either. The President is still a hero to Arm Ali. He helped it achieve prosperity. But a hero will not be embraced forever. I've seen the IPC's approach. They prioritize efficiency and a standard uniform business model across the galaxy. I warned them that their business model wouldn't work on the Xianzhou without adjustments. But the Merchant Guild's overly traditional mindset is a different obstacle. Let me put it bluntly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild has no chance of succeeding today. The IPC does have more capital on hand, but the review criteria are not solely focused on financial resources. My advice to you is to visit the shopkeeper, Mr. Xiao. He is the one who proposed the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. If you can get his support, you will definitely receive support from the other merchants. Thank you, Madam Yukong. I have business to attend to in the Palace of Astrum. The rest is up to you. Convince the old shopkeeper, and you may just become the new heroes of Aram Alley. Something fixed? We guarantee that your genium will be good as new.
Of course, if it's outworlder technology, it'll depend on the world. Mr. Xiao, I'm Ming Shi, the secretary of the Merchant Guild. We're here to talk about. Ugh, forget it. I support the IPC. Can you tell us why? Please leave. I don't recall. Let's leave for now. Wait. Please wait a moment. It sounded like my father was being a little difficult. I'm Xiao Han. People around here call me Little Master. If I'm not mistaken, you're the ones who made Representative Scott apologize in public. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't give myself that name. It's what my friends have always called me. I only recently returned to this Yenjo after many years away, but it seems like the name stuck. May I ask why you wanted to speak with my father? We need the support of the merchants for the dock. And we wanted to see if your father could join us. Hadn't my father already refused? We heard that Mr. Xiao proposed to reorganize the merchant guild, and we wanted to ask why. I see. I'll help you figure something out. Great! Uh, your father is a very tough nut to crack. The older generation of craftsmen can be rather set in their ways. Here, how about this? Why not join my father's shop as apprentices? My father is stern on the surface, but if he sees a capable apprentice and a sincere heart, he'll change his attitude. Well, it's better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. Let's just start you out and see what he says. So, it's decided? Let's get moving then. Time to make you apprentices. Father, my friends from the Merchant Guild want to be your apprentices. I'll go ahead and show them the ropes. Nonsense. I, I never said I needed more hands. Even if I did want to hire more people, I couldn't afford them. <clears throat> you know that better than I do. I can cover their salaries. Come on, it'd be rude to turn them away. Don't be ridiculous. A green hand like him won't be able to fix a thing. Plus, if he breaks our customer items in the process, <laughs> it'll be us taking the blame. If that's what you're worried about, just give him a little training. <sighs> that sounds like a yes to me. Let's get on with the job, shall we? Here's something from one of our regulars. Show him what you can do. to impress. I'll find you some more work. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Just a reminder, Father. Fair work for fair pay. Over here. See what you can do with this Jade Abacus. Don't just stand there, Father. Go teach your apprentice a thing or two. Fine. I, I give in. I know why you're here. Just... Please stop tinkering with my customer's items. It's fine, just leave it as it is. Ask what you wanted to ask. Yes, he's an old friend. 
I see a lot of potential in the corporation's plan. But a certain old friend of mine lives in the past. Whatever vision he has, it won't come true. Issue? It's less about issues and more about stubbornness. Stubbornness is intrinsic to long life species. We walk a single path, do the same things, and talk to the same people for centuries. A mind can become insensitive to change. However, compared to the president, my stubbornness is nothing. Back in his day, our O'Malley was teeming with shuttling star skiffs and commercial aromatons. But then the law food departed again on the path of the hunt. Our business partners couldn't follow, so they stopped trading with us. The president does. He wants to bring the old times back. And shop owners like me know that's impossible. Therefore, I stand behind the IPC's plan. Our O'Malley will inevitably be replaced. But is your shop part of the future that the IPC promised? <sighs> Hard to say. Chances are I'll have to sell it. Not the easiest decision to make, but I won't regret it. The good days are behind us. We must accept that short life species will repurpose our lands and that night markets are destined to become shipping docks. We must come to terms with the fact that short life ambitions will reshape a world where things were thought to last forever. Mr. Xiao, why not try working with us? Ming Si is pushing for reforms within the guild. We are nothing like the president. R reforms? They made a lot of good points when arguing with the IPC at the dock. I do see possibilities for the guild to change. Um, given the state of the guild, my money is on the IPC winning. But since I've accepted the worst case scenario, our O'Malley ceasing to exist. I can't see why it hurts to endorse your idea and see how far it takes us. Thank you. Now that you have joined our revival project, I'm sure many others will follow suit. Hmm. That's settled then. I'm curious to see what comes of your plan. Now that Mr. Zhao is on board, his shop can be part of the logistics network we've been working on. Doc for now. Thanks for all the hard work, by the way. Hope things work out just as smoothly down the line.